On this channel, we have discovered and showcased multiple videos on Code LLM and its capabilities being able to be a great alternative to Windsurf as well as Cursor. It's an AI code editor that also enables you to use Abacus AI's other suite of tools like Chat LLM or their computer agent. Today, they have introduced another new update to Code LLM that makes it even better. Allow me to introduce the new Composer agent that you can now access within Code LLM. This is a new agentic AI agent built into the IDE that's capable of handling large agentic tasks as well as having it so that you can use state-of-the-art large language models for editing, understanding, and even creating new features. But for the people who do not know what the Code LLM IDE is, it is something that you can use to enhance your productivity when writing code as it has different AI agentic features like autocomplete and many other things to help you in your software development workflow. Just take a look at the composer agent in action where it writes a unit test for binary and there is a tree implementation for it that it does autonomously without you even needing to do almost anything. You can see that it goes ahead and generates the code. You just need to go ahead and run the Python script and you can see it was able to generate that implementation of it. But you can essentially see that this composer agent is going to be designed to streamline your coding workflow by not only being autonomous, but having it so that it could tackle complex tasks. Whether you're refractoring code or implementing new features, this is something that's going to be able to help you with almost anything related to code. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Just take a look at this example of the composer agent in action. This is essentially where it is autonomously going ahead and creating this flask app where you can create different diagrams and essentially this is where it's an interactive app where you can add nodes add edges and then you can have it so that you can uh, essentially visualize diagrams based off of the contents that you input and the composer agent was able to efficiently develop something like this with one single prompt which is just insane and the great thing is is that the different ai agents that are deployed use state-of-the-art models like deepseek r1 without you even needing to use your own personal api you can use something like cloud 3.5 sonnet as well as multiple other models to help you build something out with the composer agent there are a lot of other features like tab to autocomplete your code you can have it so that you can route through different large language models to process your query you have agent composer which is the new feature you have the ability to ask ai to edit your code whether that's debugging or asking for enhancements you also have it so that it can edit code in place where it can streamline edits it can set checkpoints for any changes that have been made and essentially it is a great way for you to have ai work towards generating your code and efficiently use other suites of tools that abacus ai provides like chat lm the great thing is is that you can easily get started for free where you can access a free month minimum for two month subscriptions so, and it's pretty cheap in terms of how much they charge monthly so go ahead if you're interested in working with this go ahead and click on get started and sign up and create an account with abacus ai once you sign up or sign in you want to then head over to code lm and then you want to install this based off of your operating system since i have it for windows i'm going to go ahead and install this for my operating system once installed you want to then go ahead over to code lm and then you want to click on show chat now since i'm already logged in i'll be able to now access the chat and the agent tab the chat is essentially where you can work alongside the different uh, agents as well as the large language model to help you generate code or ask questions whereas the agent is where you can use the composer to help you generate anything where it can autonomously work on deploying the agentic uh, agents to tackle agentic tasks. Now, you can see that there's various sorts of models uh, set in the chat tab. 
you have the old three mini high which is awesome you have deep seek r1 and all of these different models you can use without in hitting into any sort of rate limit or paying for any sort of api for example say i have this random file that i have on my computer we can say help me fix bugs in this code we can send this in with the cloud 3.5 sonnet model and you can see that it has now attached this config file and it will autonomously work towards analyzing this and see if there is any sort of issues and once it notices any sort of issues you can go ahead and then you can have it so that you can insert and apply the issues into the config file and you can see where it had made the changes you can either accept or reject this in this case we're going to go ahead and accept the new changes that were made now next up what we're going to do is showcase an example of the composer agent we're going to go ahead and have it generate a flask app that is going to be allowing us to visualize data using matplot uh, lib as well as plotly which are two different packages and essentially we're trying to see if it can display different graphs as well as interactive charts it's going to work on generating the back end which you can see right now it is working with the different agents to generate the autonomous functionality of the application itself by working on generating the folders the templates whether that's the styling as well as the python code for the app which you see over here so let's see what it ends up generating for us and there we go it looks like it has finished generating all the different components so once you review through all the code you can go ahead and accept all the files that it had created and once that is done you can then obviously go ahead and open this up they will give you instructions on how you can start this up you're first going to need to install the required dependencies so we can go ahead and copy this go into our terminal we can then go over and paste in the pip install uh, command to install the de necessary dependencies once that is done, we can then obviously go ahead and start the app with the python.app by command. So once that's finished doing this, we can then go ahead and paste this in. So I have now pasted in the python.app command to start this up. And now we can access it within our local host. So let's take a look at it. And there we go. We have this Flask app now fully created with a responsive uh, front end as well as a functional back end. So this is where we can select data sets as well as visualizations. We can choose a data set such as time series and we can view the static plot. And there we go. We have a good static plot that it was able to generate based off the time series data that we would be able to provide. You can also have it view through an interactive plot. So if you click on this, this is the interactive plot that it was able to uh, generate for us where you have different tool sets to help you view this plot graph. Now, if you go back, we can also change it to scatter, and then you can do the exact same thing for the two different types of visualizations, whether that's an interactive one or if it is a static plot. Now, that overall didn't even take that long to set up. It essentially was able to do it all on its own based off of one prompt. You see that it didn't even send any other prompts, and if I was to work alongside with this, it would be able to easily build out anything as a full stack application with the different agents deployed with code LLM. And on top of that, you get to access chat LLM where you have a all-in-one AI platform where you can access state-of-the-art large language models for you to work with. And you can also use their computer agent as well as their AI engineer and even create different sorts of AI agents within this platform. But that's basically it for the new update of the Composer Agent. It is definitely something that you should take a look at with all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at Abacus AI's Code LM. Uh, I'll also leave a link to Chat LM so that you can easily take a look at the features for it. I actually have a couple of videos on it, so definitely recommend you watch that. Follow me on the Patreon as well as the newsletter. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that, you'll, that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. But with that thought, guys, see you guys next time. Peace out, fellas.